Let's not kid ourselves. Link is a terrible swimmer, at least without the Zora armor set. So thankfully it reappears in Tears of the Kingdom. Here's how to get it. The first part of the set is easy, as it requires going through the Sidon of the Zora quest line. There's a point where Yona offers to fix the Zora armor if she gets a scale from an ancient Arowana fish. Luckily, these fish are easy to find if you just go up the stairs to Shatterback Point, and there they'll be in the pond. Heck, you might have already had some in your inventory like I did. Once you give one of these fish to Yona, she'll give you the Zora armor, which is important because this part of the armor lets you swim up waterfalls. How do you get the other two pieces, though? To get the helmet, you have to go back to the Floating Scales Island at around this point specifically. There you'll find on the edge of the island a blockage covered in sludge. Throw a splash fruit or blue choo-choo jelly at it to remove the seal. Glide down there and you'll find a chest with the Zora helmet. Getting the Zora Greaves is a bit more of a lengthy process, as you'll first have to finish the Sidon of the Zora quest. When you do, talk to Yona again, and she'll activate the token of Friendship side quest, leading you back to the caverns in the ancient Zora waterworks, accessed via Whirlpool in the East Reservoir Lake. Here you'll find the caverns completely drained of water, and if you do some exploring at the bottom of the middle structure, you'll find a hole. Go down that hole, and you'll come across a waterfall and a stone talus boss, which you don't have to fight like I did. Instead, go behind that waterfall to discover a chest with the Zora Greaves inside. By equipping this set, you can now swim way faster in Tears of the Kingdom.